folks. Welcome to the Thursday Thought. This week's topic, the competency ladder. We talked last week about the first pancake as an analogy for the learning process. And I thought it might be interesting to bring up an additional learning process tool, the competency ladder. There are four steps to the competency ladder. And I think it's very helpful to know where you are in that competency process when you're learning something. The ladder starts with the unknown. So the unconscious incompetence. You don't know what you don't know. In this case, you don't know that pancakes even exist. The next step on that learning process on the competency ladder is conscious incompetence. You're aware of the fact that you don't know something. You know pancakes exist, but you don't know how to make them. The third step is conscious competence. You became aware that it was possible to make pancakes and you have now started learning how to make them. The first pancake is very often that step of conscious competence. You're still learning how to do it. And the final step on the competency ladder is unconscious competence. You are so good at something that you actually don't, aren't even aware that you're doing it. This is the third pancake or the 700th batch you've made in your life where you don't even need to look at the recipe anymore. You can throw the ingredients together and whip up a batch of pancakes out of your head. And I think it's interesting not only to know where you are in that competency ladder when you're learning something new, but potentially also to look at what effect each stage has on you. As an example, in the stage of conscious incompetence and moving from the step conscious incompetence to conscious competence, I very often feel extremely uncomfortable and anxious. This is where I really doubt my abilities. I over question whether or not I can do something. When I move into conscious competence, sometimes the pendulum swings a little too far and I feel a little overconfident when I'm not yet at that unconscious competence stage. It's only when I get to unconscious competence that I have sort of the appropriate level of confidence and an understanding of what I'm able to do. And so actually, now that I'm aware of this ladder process and where I fall on that competency ladder, I recognize that feeling anxiety might mean that I'm on the conscious incompetent step. I know if I feel a little cocky, that means the pendulum is swung. I'm moving towards more competence. And that feeling of control, relaxation, mastering something is a very calm feeling. So those tie together for me. How does it work for you? What does it look like when you are on the different steps of the competency ladder? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next Thursday.